Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Wakakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, uh, who rule well and teach well, and peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, and you can see what I did here. Um, you know, I just went to Google, typed in open economy, and clicked on news, and all these articles popped up about different uh, uh, countries, states, you know, counties opening their economies uh, back up, you know, without any mask restrictions or social distance restrictions. And, you know, this one stuck out to me. Uh, that they <laughs> really plan to open California. California was, you know, the one of those states that had the strictest uh strictest restrictions you know with the mask mandate and travel and <laughs> even telling people not to uh like sing at thanksgiving is nuts um but good <laughs> you know these people need those restrictions you know because fuck thanksgiving anyway um because when you go into thanksgiving you find out that it's really about esau killing gad uh but, you know, the, the, oh yeah, and also today, I, the reason why I, you know, searched this was because, um, you know, one, I was talking to a brother last night uh, in, in uh, the Las Vegas camp, and he was talking about how they plan on opening stuff up uh, in June as well. And, uh, you know, today I was at the gym, and the woman that entered in, in front of me looked out like a proof of vaccination card, you know, or freedom papers, so to speak, and, you know, the gym that I go to, you know, has mask mandate, like, you have to wear it the whole time you're in there, and right when you walk in, you know, you get asked, you know, integrity, interrogated about, you know, with a series of questions, like, have you been outside of the city in the last so-and-so days, um, do you have any symptoms, yada, 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 and, um, uh, but she whipped out the that proof proof of vaccination because I've seen it on social media too. People are getting those uh, Pfizer vaccines, <clears throat> and hey, if you have those those papers, and I guess you don't you don't need uh you don't need those restrictions. You know, you can work out without a mask and don't have to answer all those questions, and um. You know, that that's that carrot dangling over uh, uh, people's faces to, you know, run towards the vaccine. And, you know, they're, they're promising, you know, everything's going back to normal, but we know what the scriptures say. This is First Thessalonians 5 and 3. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Uh, let me let me start up at one. First Thessalonians five and one. It says, "But of of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you." The reason why Apostle Paul was saying this was because you know brothers are on their watchtower. We were saying that hey, this was gonna happen when when we went on lockdown. You know. Uh, it says, "For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord Yahweh Ba Shemnah Shai." So cometh as a thief in the night, you know, it's going to come on the sudden, you know, uh, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Yeah, just when people think everything's uh, sweet like sugar, ain't shit sweet, nigga. Um, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye uh, brethren are not in darkness. That that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of the light. Yeah, so you know, don't don't be worried that <laughs> that uh you know it seems like Esau's kingdom isn't falling because everything's opening back up. Man, this shit's still gonna fall. You know? And also you gotta keep in mind it says in Job that uh, before his belly is full.
Yeah, Job 20. Um, I'll start at 20. Yeah, Job 20 and 20. Surely he shall not feel uh, quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. And the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. You know, <laughs> every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. And he's, he's, this is talking about uh, uh, Esau, you know, right before he fills his new world order. That's when <laughs> straits, I mean, going to this word straight, it means a, a narrow passage of water connecting two seas. Like, uh, let, let me go to the Edamon, Edamon line. Because straits really means like hard times. Um, yeah, narrow, confined space, um, space or place, you know, narrow part, pass, defile, narrow, passage of water, difficulty, plight, yeah, difficulty or plight, that's the main thing, um, conventional or wisely limited way of life, yeah, so straits, <laughs> and the fullness of his sufficiency, that's when he's going to find straits, and that that's, Hey, right now, really, you know, because he's being exposed. His his new world order is being exposed right now, you know. It, you know, he's trying to push these vaccines, but, you know, everybody's exposing that, oh, well, this vaccine is <laughs> unsafe. Um, you know, people are researching the COVID-19, uh, uh, like, disease, and they, they're, you know, getting hip to that, hey, you know, pro like, all the media is just propagating people to stay inside. And there's no real threat. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the middle of him chipping, hey, two-thirds of Israel and the masses of, of the earth, you know, with that mark of a beast. Hey, he's going <laughs> to... That's when the Most High is coming down on him, man. Right before it, he fulfills his new world order. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. And that's uh, talking about, you know, the, 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 the nuclear missiles. You know, it is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in the secret places. Fire not blown shall consume him, and it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Yeah, so though everybody left on, on earth <laughs> during that time, they're going to be blown away. Not the good kind of blown away. Blown away like, <laughs> like, done. Um, yeah, and, I think verse 25, 24 and 25, and a different version of the Bible, it actually says missiles. I think it's like a Catholic like CIB or something. Let me look it up. 25 CIB. Um... Like Catholic Bible. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's not this one. Yeah, I can't remember which uh, version it was, but yeah, this one calls it a dart. 
which is, you know, the same thing there. Um, oh, yeah, here it is, verse 23. When he has filled his belly, the Most High shall send against him the fury of his wrath and rain down his missiles upon him. There you go. This is verse 23. U-S-C-C-B. Um, for brothers that want to bring that scripture up, read it in a different uh, version just to make that point clear that Esau's getting those missiles on him, man. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let, let them open the economy, man. It's only going to be for a short duration. And hey, when that happens, and they show that on the purge, like, you know, when the purge happened, everybody was partying at first. And as it was in the days of Noah, no matter what Esau does, he only fulfills prophecy. This is uh, Luke 17 and 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also with the son of man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day of Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. So, hey, it's going to be on the sudden, man. In the midst of the grand reopening of America, and everybody's going and partying, and concerts are coming back, everybody's throwing their mask up in the air like... You did your hat on graduation day. That's that's when Yahweh Shah is coming back and <laughs> separating the the wheat from the tares, man. So you know, don't 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 be uh, what's the word disenchanted because of this. Um, but yeah, with that, I'm gonna give all praises and praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Akadosh Shalom.